What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to the unboxing video. Now, guys, this is another cord cutting product here, guys. If you're looking for a full TV viewing experience with a plethora of viewing options to watch movies, TV shows, all kinds of goodies, uh, another box that has uh, entered the fray of the Battle of the Boxes. This is called VC Box. This one, uh, it's got some pretty powerful specs. Android 11, up to 8K. Not that things are broadcast in 8K, but it does put 8K on the box. So we'll see what happens when I when I choose 8K. Otherwise, guys, if you're looking for something that's powerful, fast, it's got the Wi-Fi, it's got the Ethernet, it's got all the Android apps, it's got the voice remote, good remote as well. It's a unique remote that we'll show you later. Uh, 64 gigs of, uh, of ROM built in, so you can download all kinds of good stuff. Uh, for apps and uh, yeah, it's a great uh, video player But uh, the reason why you get these boxes is to have a great TV viewing experience of a lot of different options So that's the key. So let's uh, get this unboxed show you what's inside hook it up and see what it looks like uh, Looking forward to it something new to check out. So uh, thanks for watching my videos guys hit that like button subscribe if you're new and uh, Let's check out the VC box plus right now. All right guys check it out VC box here smart media player 4K, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of ROM, and 8K Ultra HD with the voice remote here. Android 11, HDMI 2.1, guys. All right, well, let's check it out. You know what time it is, guys. Black pin. Dual band Wi-Fi 6, guys. Right, so main event is here. That here. Ooh. All right, so standard power supply, use pretty universal across these boxes. Standard basic HDMI cable there. V3 plus instructions, large instructions here. Very nice diagram here to show you what to do. Stop buffering tips, best performance practices, all the good stuff, and a uh, official website scan in the back. Ooh, this remote, guys. I like this large remote. Look at this. So you have the universal TV power with the TV input, volume minus, volume plus. You have the mouse button here. Of course, the box power is there. Number keys, favorite button, last. Dell, maybe delete. The back button, menu button. EPG is your uh, your your TV guide. Info on what you're watching. Nice up, down, left, right. Okay. Your home, your home key is there. Your audio button, your subtitle button. Volume up, volume down to the box. Channel up, channel down to the box. Looks like this is a Google Assistant button. Your mute. You got some color keys here and some hotkeys of YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, and Prime Video. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, got a little bit of instructions in the back here. Tell you how to program your, your, your remote to the TV. Looks like there's a little cutout here, right there. There we go, pop open. Looks like uh, AAA batteries, guys. AAA, not included. All right, so I'll find some of those. And now the main event, guys. Ooh, look at this padded. This is all pad. I like, I like that. It's very nice. And we got a piece of tape. Seal it up. Great packaging, guys. Ooh. Guys, look at that texture on top. Are you kidding me? It's like a wave. It's beautiful. And it is grooved, guys. This is grooved. Not just a little sticker on top. That's actually ribbed very nicely <laughs> um, so it looks like we got v3 plus in the front that says 8k ultra high definition which is great for me I have two 8k TVs in the raft cave all right let's do this always so satisfying for brand new products this is maybe a little light right here Put it there wow. all right so in the back here guys we have your Ethernet which is only 100 I don't think it's a gigabit Ethernet. Uh, USB 2.0, USB 3.0, HDMI 2.1, uh, micro SD card slot, uh, standard 
uh, coax AV port if you buy those cables separate. And then your power supply goes there. And uh, that's it. All right, guys. So I'm going to get this plugged in. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. Be right back. All right, guys, so I've had a whole day to play around with the VC box, and uh, it is freaking awesome. So remote is great. The remote control is comfortable, easy to use, large buttons, no backlight, but large buttons and pretty much all the buttons you could ever want on a TV media Android box. This is fantastic. By the way, the mouse is fast. It's not like this slow turtle drag of a mouse. This mouse can very appreciative of a fast mouse, fantastic. So let's fire this up, guys. I'm very excited to uh, show you guys. VC box, let's go. Turn it on right now. Boom. I like the front of the uh, the box itself. Gives you the time and the little uh, light that turns from red to green. Uh, green is on, red's off, of course. I love the layout of this box, guys. I love the nice, large, colorful icons in the front. I love the fact that the apps that you buy this box for are already installed and ready to go on the middle row right here. Those are the apps you buy this box for and they are awesome. All right, I'll, I'll get into it a little bit. At the very top, the apps, the smart upgrade is very, very handy. When you press this button here, it'll tell you all the more popular apps that you're gonna use to make sure what version it is. So if there's a, a newer version available, you can go ahead and download it here, which is amazing, right? All the more popular apps, it lets you know what the current version is and you can upgrade it if you need to. That's awesome. YouTube, of course. Now, YouTube is great because it'll give you 4K HDR. It's awesome. It's quick. It's fast. It's, it's YouTube. And it's right here, and it works perfectly. Fantastic. Uh, the weather app is, is really amazing as well. Uh, you can put in your city where you're from, and it gives you the whole day's hours, next week's hours. The whole day's weather, next week's weather, all that stuff. It's a fantastic weather app. Very appreciative. And also in the top right corner, It'll tell you the current uh, temperature of where you're at. And of course the time, and the time is correct by the way, you know, the 24 hours or the 12 hour where you wanna go, that's great. And I am connected through ethernet, which is the way you wanna go with these boxes. I wouldn't recommend Wi-Fi. I mean, you have to do what you gotta do. I mean, Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi, right? You got it. But otherwise, if you can get a hardwire to these boxes, very, very recommended, so definitely do that. Google Play Store, of course, is here. Log in, all the Android apps are available, which is great. YouTube Music, when you log into YouTube, and if you have YouTube Music, it's right there. The full layout of YouTube mu Music is great. I can go ahead and click on this. Everything loads really quickly, guys. It's fantastic. Uh, no issues here. So, yeah, log in, and then you got your, your videos and all the music you want to listen to. Oh, nice one. So, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So, love that. Um, and then, of course, it goes right back into YouTube, which is fantastic, too. Awesome. Right, so Netflix, Netflix works. Click on the Netflix, boom, lights up. Now the thing is with the other apps that you're not buying this box for, um, you'll get 4K, but you will not get HDR, you will not get uh, Dolby, Dolby Audio, right? This box will give you stereo sound throughout, right? So don't expect high res audio and all that stuff. You're gonna get stereo and that's it. And the majority of TV you watch is pretty much stereo anyway, versus some movies which you wanna probably check out they're not going to be, you know, surround sound. Maybe that'll get updated in the future, but it's just stereo. So let's just nip that in the bud right now. Um, remote setup is great. You know, if you want to set up your remote control, it's a nice app that'll walk you through it, which is great. File browser, if you want to plug in, you know, a thumbstick, a USB or, you know, SD card or whatnot, go through the files there. Load in your app, your own apps if you want. Have at it, right? Games, I mean, games are here. I don't know if you can play with a remote. I'm not really into that stuff. Google Play TV is there. You can definitely, you know, browse the web with this. Uh, you got the mouse button right here. So you press the mouse, you can go ahead and surf the internet if you want with Chrome. Uh, VLC is there when you play your own media. Uh, Prime Video works great. 4K video, just stereo sound. Disney works great. 4K, Disney, you know, regular sound. Uh, I'm not sure what the cast receiver is. And then Plex I use on my main PC, so I'm able to watch um, 4K videos, movies, whatever. But just remember, stereo sound right no hdr either right um so go through the system settings of course and you're into the device preferences uh what it's about put in your time zone there language keyboard if you want uh now screen resolution 
Now display mode here, even though it says 8K on the box and on the front, you're not gonna get 8K. Hopefully they patch it out, but I do have an 8K TV and uh, it was not letting me get 8K. You don't really need 8K, right? There's only a few, you know, handful of, uh, of things to watch on YouTube that's 8K. Nothing else is 8K other than the PlayStation 5 Pro, which will be out next month. That'll have 8K. But there's really not a lot of 8K content, so when you put 8K on the box, it would have been nice to be able to select 8K here. Well, who knows? Maybe you'll get an update. Uh, but 4K, uh, 60 is what you're going to max out at there. And you can go down to 1080p and 1080i and 720 and 40 if you want. Um, so now color space. Right now, since I'm live streaming uh, or streaming this to show you guys here, I had to remove HDR 10-bit. Uh, but normally, you want to select the, the YC something something 10-bit. Select that, then you'll get HDR on, on a couple of, of certain apps. So other than that, I'm just using RGB 8-bit just to be able to show you guys what they're all about. But you'll change it when you get your, uh, your own TV and stuff. Um, adaptive HDR, just leave it there. It'll turn on if it's available. Uh, otherwise, it'll just leave it there. Uh, as far as uh, sound goes, yeah, it's just either never surround sound or just automatic. I just leave it on automatic because there's not there's no option to select Dolby Digital, DTS, Dolby Atmos, DTSX, all that stuff. There's none of that here. Just stereo only. If they can update the box to allow high res audio, great. Then you would select it here. Uh, but the reason why you buy this box is really not going to be for high res audio, right? We all know that, right? Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, some other things down here you, you can go through. It's just, you know, all the same. Uh, launcher settings, which is cool. Um, you're able to select what app you want it to start off as. So if you don't want to go to the home screen, you can say, I don't want to go directly into Heat Live app. It'll open up to the Heat Live app. It'll just open up the TV or whatever um, if you want. That's cool. That's a really nice option to, to give you uh, on, this, uh, on this box. Upgrade, which is great. You select upgrade. It'll tell you if the box is fully upgraded or not for firmware. That's amazing and convenient. You don't have to go through the menus and all the, or the system setup. It's just right there on the front of the screen to let you know that you're gonna, you have the current version, which is awesome. Uh, hotkeys, um, yeah, it's your current remote. Haven't really dived into that at all. I'm not sure if you really need to. Uh, network is, of course, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Initial setup, I don't think you need to do that. System info gives you all the specs of the system. And then power, of course, is going to be if you want to power it off, restart it, or go to settings. Memory cleanup is great. You're able to uh, just clean up any apps that you're not using to make sure the system's running uh, fast as it can be, which is great. And uh, the middle row here, okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, looks like you got Firefox that you can download. So if you want Firefox browser or the Chrome browser, that's available for you. Uh, Wi-Fi and an analyzer speed test. If you want to check out your speeds, you can. It's very detailed. It'll tell you exactly where, what's going on for speed. So that's really cool. Contact us if you have any issues. You want to uh, contact the support. It's right there as well. All right, guys. So the reason why you get this box, right, are these heat special apps, right? So what's great about the remote is you got voice control. So you got the little Google icon here down here. Press that button and you just say what you want to watch and it'll pop up for you. Uh, so let's let's load this up right now. Um, it loads up very fast, guys. It's fantastic. Uh, I haven't had any issues with uh, buffering uh, on, on, on just watching TV. Um, so it loads up right away. Now I'm blurring it out for obvious reasons. Uh, but the uh, menu, basically just press OK. It loads up. Now the interface is beautiful. It is just clean. It's nice and smooth. It's so easy to read. I love it. It's easy to favorite. Uh, uh, channels just by holding the, the 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 OK button on the remote, it'll put a little heart next to the channel. And if you go to the far left, uh, you can go to your favorites list, which is nice. But on the far left is going to be uh, you know all channels, um, history of what you've been watching, favorite list, national, right? What the national uh, options are, local options, which are your local where you're at options, uh, sports, and, you know. And on the side here, just kind of look at the side. And uh, it's freaking fantastic. Now, the UHD 4K, is, which is awesome, right? 4K channels. And this box seems to have uh, some options there. Now, there's only eight options, right, for 4K channels. Uh, but the ones that are always working is the uh, Museum and the uh, Love Nature. Uh, these other ones, not all the time. Uh, the top two, this one's like like stocks and news. And this one's more of a foreign uh, channel, which I can't understand. Um, but not all of them are 4K. Um, I think these bottom three are not. 
Um, so yeah, so on the far left again, you got all this options on the far left, uh, which is amazing, right? Absolutely fantastic. Uh, um, amazing, amazing uh, options here. Uh, now, if you notice, you hit the info button on the bottom there. It tells you the resolution of the show you're watching, right? So this is 1280 by 720. That's amazing. And uh, some other channels are actually going to be 1080, right? 1920 by 1080. And if you're watching one of those 4K channels, it actually is, uh, say, 3820 by you know 26 something something. So it's really cool to tell you what resolution it is. Um, yeah, you can change channels with uh, the up and down on the remote control, which is very simple. So basically, just press back twice to get out. That's Heat Live. Now, the Heat Ultra is really cool. I haven't had a lot of time into here. Uh, but this one, if you go to the far left, it gives you a few more specifics. A few more specifics on the very left there. So a few more things that the other one didn't have. So if there's something here that you like that the other app didn't have, then they're right here. Very, very nice. Very nice to have a little backup there. So we'll press back twice. Now the heat VOD. Feel the heat stay cool. Very neat. Now it's receiving some data. Could be some updates going on, which is nice. Yeah. Love how, how it just integrates the loading beforehand. So you have uh, these options here, right? So you select that, and then you'll have uh, pretty much everything on the on the left here. All right, thirty-seven thousand uh, TV options here, thirteen thousand. Great, great options. Uh, press back twice to get out of that. And then you also have a, a, an ultra, right? An ultra version of that uh, particular app that's right here. And this one looks a little different, uh, but the same kind of thing here where you have a little more specifics on the far left. Right? And then TV, TV stuff, a few more uh, specific options on the far left as well. It's very nice. Very nice, very snappy. And you can favorite things as well. Just hold down the OK button on the remote. It'll put a little heart symbol. Uh, backup. Um, so for some reason, the other primary apps are uh, something going on. Then, uh, yeah, you could uh, go here. Now, this one doesn't have as many options, but at least it's something. Um, it looks like, yeah, it's, it's got the same of the HD. So it might be just a, kind of a backup, backup of the... Uh, of the first one here so yeah very nice there very nice um another thing is with the uh the vo the vod uh, when you choose something to watch and it's like stuttering or slow um there's a way to actually choose up to eight different versions of that to see which one um, is smooth it works out better so something's a uh, chop chop click server list do, do, do. you have eight options very cool very cool uh, other than that guys i highly highly recommend this box i'm very very happy with it i think it's just so easy to, to navigate through and look at and it's just so clean uh, it's very 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 nice other than not being able to select 8k um not getting high res audio those are the two bummers but maybe those can be updated in the future because this is a very powerful box i don't see why it can't uh, uh do those things so other than that, guys, thanks for watching this uh, video. Uh, link in the description below if you enjoyed this uh, demonstration and uh, want to check it out for yourself. Um, definitely look description below. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching this uh, Android box of VC box uh, demonstration. You guys have a great day. Like, subscribe, share, and see the next one. Home theater rules. Raph out. See you guys.